The PlayStation Showcase saw the first look at gameplay for the upcoming Spider-Man 2 PS5 game, and it looks amazing. Everything from the graphics of the lizard and the symbiote suit to how well the action flows, it's all top notch. Personally, I thought it looked a little similar to the original game, but that's not a bad thing. I just don't know how much of the graphics have advanced since then. I'd have to do a side-by-side -side comparison to really see the difference. The main villain of the game looks to be Kraven the Hunter, which is interesting because both the game and the Sony Kraven the Hunter movie are both scheduled to come out this fall. This game in September, and the movie the first week of October. I doubt there'll be any overlap or connection, but Kraven will end up having a few very popular weeks. This footage also gives us a look at Spider-Man, aka Peter Parker, in the Venom symbiote suit. I like how he's able to fully utilize it during the fights, and I'm interested to see how exactly the symbiote comes into play, and how Peter deals with it. We already see multiple times here that Peter isn't exactly himself, whether it be an aggressive tone in his voice, or being careless with civilian safety. We'll also be able to switch from Peter to Miles throughout the game. I haven't finished the Miles game yet, so I don't think I'll understand everything, but I still love how different and unique his powers are. The footage shows off a few new abilities that players can use. It looks like there will be new special webs, including cable wires that you can put up. Those special gadgets were always my favorite to play around in the original game, so I'm excited to be able to test out plenty of new ones, although I hope they do at least keep some of the originals. Both Peter and Miles also have some wings on their suit that allow them to glide in the air. I don't know if that's something from the Miles game, or if it'll be introduced here, but that spices up the action a little bit and what players are capable of. There are also new ways to take out multiple enemies at once. I don't know how likely it is that I pick this game up when it releases, just because I don't have a PS5 yet, and it's hard for me to justify the purchase when I don't play games all that much, but this is one of those games that I know I'll have to play eventually. The original Spider-Man game is one of my favorites that I've ever played, and from what we see here, this one does a lot of the same things right. It's got good action, I'm interested in the story that they're telling, and the little we got from the music and tone also seemed solid. We get a bit of suspense here in the story as Miles is searching for the lizard, and I love how these games are able to seamlessly flow through various moods and paces. Comment down below what you think of this footage, and how excited you are to play this game when it comes out. Remember to like the video, and subscribe for more gaming content, and follow me on my various platforms listed in the description. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you again tomorrow.